eating dates every day for a week will do this to your body. In the United States, a stroke is the leading cause of serious long-term disability. Every year, almost 795,000 people suffer a stroke. Out of that total, roughly 600,000 are first-time attacks. So the goal is to try and prevent them from ever occurring. According to the Daily Health Post, dates are the number one food that can help prevent a stroke, as well as preventing high blood pressure and cholesterol. Would you like to learn more about dates? Preventing strokes and what to do if your friend has a stroke? If yes, continue watching. But first, before we begin this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. Also, check out our bestie friendship quote at the end of the video. All right, so back to preventing strokes. First off, what are dates? Dates are a flowering plant species in the palm family. In order to be the number one food that can prevent strokes, high blood pressure, and cholesterol, you must contain something special. Dates are loaded with calcium, iron, magnesium, potassium, and zinc, which give them huge health benefits. So why don't we explore some things that these practically miracle fruits can do? Prevents atherosclerosis. According to Israeli researchers, eating dates at least once a day can protect you from developing atherosclerosis, says the Daily Health Post. If you're unfamiliar with atherosclerosis, it's when plaque builds inside your arteries. Over time, this plaque will harden, which narrows your arteries and can cause a heart attack or a stroke. A study published in the Journal of Agriculture and Food Chemistry showed that eating at least 3.75 ounces of dates daily for four weeks can decrease your triglyceride fats, levels by 15%. They also reduce the amount of oxidation of fats in your body by at least 33%, which in turn lowers your blood cholesterol. Lowers blood pressure. According to a Harvard Medical School study, dates are one of the best foods that can help lower blood pressure. Researchers of the study recommend consuming eight servings, half a pound, of dates a week. Prevent strokes. As we mentioned earlier, dates have loads of magnesium in them. With that said, there have been several studies published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition that show that by consuming 100 milligrams of magnesium daily, you can decrease the risk of stroke by 10%. Other Health Benefits According to a 2005 study published in the Journal of Ethnopharmacy, Consuming dates on a daily basis can actually soothe inflamed ulcers in your digestive tract. The reason this is possible, according to the researchers, is that the aqueous and ethanolic extracts of the dates mitigate the increased ethanol in histamine and gastrin concentrations. Prevents Cancer As we mentioned multiple times already, dates contain high levels of magnesium. It calms the inflammation in the body which has been linked to multiple diseases, including cancer. With that said, a 2015 study published in the British Journal of Nutrition shows that consuming dates can help reduce the chances of developing colon cancer. Healthy Pregnancy and Delivery When it comes to having a child, women want a healthy pregnancy and delivery. Researchers at the University of Science and Technology wanted to discover how consuming dates impacted labor parameters and delivery outcomes. They studied 69 women over the course of a year. They found that women who consumed dates for the last four weeks before labor reduced their need for induction and augmentation of labor. And so, that concludes all the health benefits of dates. But what happens if you're allergic to dates or if you just don't like them? Are you just doomed to get a stroke and die? Well, don't worry, because today we're going to provide you with some other methods of preventing strokes. We wouldn't want the people who watch our videos to become stroke victims, now would we? Number one, lower blood pressure. Like we said before, this can be achieved by eating dates. However, 
If you've decided to avoid the pruny palm plant, then there are other ways you can achieve lower blood pressure. The number one thing you should be worrying about is maintaining a blood pressure of less than 135 over 85. To do this, you can do a couple of things. You can reduce the salt in your diet. You want no more than half a teaspoon of salt a day, or about 1500 milligrams. You'll also want to avoid high cholesterol foods, like burgers, cheese, and ice cream. We know, all the good stuff. Instead of eating those high cholesterol foods, up your intake of fruits, veggies, fish, whole grains, and low-fat dairy. Try about four to five cups of fruits or vegetables a day, one to three servings of fish a week, and several daily servings of whole grains and low-fat dairy. Finally, if you smoke, you'll definitely want to quit. Number two, lose weight. We know everyone is always trying to lose weight. Even people who have achieved the recommended BMI or body mass index of 25 or less still have to work out to keep it. So it's really a never ending cycle. What you'll want to focus on is eating about 1000 to 2000 calories a day, depending on gender, current body mass index and other factors and increase the amount that you work out. Number three, work out more. How much do you need to work out? Well, to really lower your cholesterol, the people at healthharvard.edu recommend exercise at a moderate intensity at least five days a week. Five days a week? Yes, we know, it sounds like a lot, but a moderate intensity doesn't mean you have to get a crazy hard pump at the gym. You could take a walk around your neighborhood. You could take the stairs instead of the elevator. Play a sport with some friends. We're partial to street hockey ourselves. Or if you're not into sports, maybe do a fitness club. You'll want at least 30 minutes of exercise per day. And if you can't do it all at once, try breaking it up into little segments. Number four, drink in moderation. So you can't eat junk food, you have to lose weight, you have to exercise, and you have to quit smoking? You're going to be one grumpy person. Thank God you still have excessive drinking. Well, not so much. Experts recommend that if you're going to focus on stroke prevention, you're going to want to quit drinking completely. If you can't handle that, well, then you'll have to start drinking in moderation. Researchers, experts, and doctors say you should limit yourself to one glass a day and that glass should be filled with red wine. They want you to drink red wine because it has resveratrol in it, which researchers say protect the heart and mind or the brain. Finally, you'll want to watch your portion sizes for that one glass. A standard size drink is five ounces a glass of wine, 12 ounces for beer, or a 1.5 ounce glass of hard liquor. Sounds like a blast, we know. So. Those are the ways you can prevent a stroke, but what if you're playing street hockey while drinking red wine with your friends and one begins to have a stroke? Don't worry, we here at Bessie are going to teach you how to recognize a stroke and then help your friend through it until the ambulance arrives. First, let's talk about FAST, the method to identifying strokes. F-A-S-T, FAST is a way of recognizing the symptoms of a stroke. It stands for FACE. Is the face numb or does it droop on one side? Arms. Is one arm numb or weaker than the other? Does one arm stay lower when you try to raise them both? Speech. Is speech slurred or garbled? Time. If you answered yes to any of the above, it's time to call emergency services immediately. Keep in mind, these aren't the only symptoms to a stroke. Other symptoms include blurred vision, dim vision, or loss of vision, especially in one eye. Tingling, weakness, or numbness on one side of the body, nausea, loss of bladder or bowel control, a headache, dizziness, or lightheadedness, and finally, loss of balance or consciousness. Once again, if you see your friend with any of these symptoms, 
then it's time to call the emergency services immediately. However, there are a couple of things you can do while you wait for the emergency services to arrive. Here is a guide to the things you can do in a pinch when your friend is having a stroke. Number one, check their breathing. If they aren't breathing, perform CPR. Only do this if you're CPR and first aid trained, however. Number two, talk to them in a reassuring manner. If they feel cold, grab them a blanket. Avoid moving them at all costs. This is about making them feel as comfortable as possible until professionals arrive. Number three, monitor their symptoms. Be ready to share everything you know with the medical workers when they arrive. Anything you can tell them will be a big help and might be the difference between your friend living and dying. And that's it. We hope you learned something about strokes today, but we're always happy to hear from you. Give us your stroke prevention advice in the comment section below. Bestie friendship quote, there is nothing better than a friend unless it is a friend with chocolate. Linda Grayson. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.